Hello there, it's Al Conquergood from Conquergood Creative. I get lots of questions about building automata, and so I thought I'd pause as I was getting closer to putting this one together to just again show the mechanism of how I build some of these things. This is a very simple cam and lever construction, uh, reoccurred many times over a single theme. So I've placed the top works in behind the actuator so you can actually see the things that'll actually make it connect together. All right. On this side of the gear, on the model over here, you can see the gearbox. In this case, I make my gearboxes so they're about a 1 to 8 ratio on speed because that's about the speed that people are comfortable turning the handles and it doesn't make the rest of the operation go fast. Might be a little difficult to see, but right there is a reverse pawl. And I always put a reverse pawl in so that it always gets turned the same direction. These levers here that reach over the top of the cams have to be turned in the proper direction. If you turn them in the other direction, they'll actually caught and get bound up. So let's go through this and take a quick look at, at how that's done. For now, the cams are not glued into place yet. This is the test driving process where I slide the top forward, put all the linkages in and see how it looks. This little first pair of levers is this one and this one. And right now they're out of synchronization. They should be flapped exactly the same, but the cams have slipped a little bit in the testing. And they're the ones that are going to make this lucky little tooth go straight up and down like that. And the one in the middle is a little lever, and that's going to make whoop, that's going to make his eyes go up and down. If I can reach in the back there, maybe I can make his eyes go up and down. There you go. Maybe hard to see on that, the camera. The next cam by itself. This is the one that has this little baby tooth here playing with the game at the dentist's office. And it'll make the game beads go up and down and move with the arm of the, of the little character like that, sort of, or like that. These two are the kind of lever you use when you're making something turn. So what will happen is one of these will make the eyes turn sideways, which is this one. And this one will make his body turn sideways. So if you can see, he's going to spin in his chair like that, back and forth a little bit. And then by spinning his eyes, you'll see his eye goes back and forth, side to side as well. Next lever is the poor guy that has a loose cap. And again, the two outside levers, when it's hooked up correctly, will be in exact synchronization because I've got two pins that will push him up so that the head goes up squarely. And so basically what it looks like when his head bops up and down, it will look like, like that. And then the other lever that's in the middle, this one here, that will actually make his eyes go up and down. And following the same theme, this will make the eyes go up and down on the fellow with the Walkman on. And this one will actually make him rock back and forth like this. But we'll also at the same time actuate a little toothbrush rocking seesaw, I guess, down here. And that'll uh, do double duty to make that go. Just add some interest down below. And then I'll ask Heather to do with Flossie my dental floss container. And basically she'll have the center one, this little one over here, which will make the mouth go up and down. And then these two other ones, which will make her arms wave up and down in this fashion when they're hooked onto linkages on the back. So it'll go like that. So that's basically how it's all going to work. As you can see, it's just a reoccurrence on the theme on a lot of it counterweights in the right place and of course being very careful to make sure all the holes are in the right place. So I hope you like this little demonstration and you can look on shortly hopefully in another week or so I should have this thing all bolted together and have a finished video done of it all working and just the top works going. Alrighty, bye bye for now. Happy automata to you.